Marriage Boot Camp, child. I told you I was going to review this, and I am. Um, what a mess. First of all. Okay, so Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Last season, they had, who was on there? CeeLo Jocelyn. I watched like a few episodes of that. I, I, just, I went into that season. But um, this new season they got, child. With Tahiri Jose from Love and Hip Hop New York. Y'all know Tahiri was just on um, Love Hip Hop New York, you know, the whole Joe Button thing. Child. And she's with this dude named um, Vado, I believe. I think that's his name. He's something or another. Um, Tahiri already told him that she that he is the brokest guy she ever been with. I mean, first of all, it's rude to say that to somebody. Um, but second of all, they was in the midst of an argument, so I guess that was her get back. Third of all, girl, that just really just make you look like you just with men for money. But I mean, okay. Um, we got Willie Taylor and Shonda, child. Y'all know Willie and Shonda. Willie from day 26, you know, Shonda them, they was on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood one season and stuff. And, you know, they've been married for a long time. They both cheated. Her cat friendly, his peace friendly. And there you go. We got Corrupt and Tony Calvert. Um, I believe Tony is of Asian descent, I believe. Corrupt is a rapper. Y'all know Corrupt. Um, he suffered. He don't think he do though. But God bless his heart. But um, allegedly he suffers from. Um, he's an alcoholic, and um, you know he's Lord. You can tell he done had it rough. And he ain't number forty six, but he looks every bit of sixty. Um, and that woman just really trying to stick by him and push through and try some mess. It, it's definitely hard to see. Then we have Hazel E and Devon Walker. Devon is, is he a model? I believe some little boy Hazel E done picked up off the street somewhere she's taken care of. And then, you know, um, she writing raps and all that kind of stuff about him saying that I can't wait till we get married so I can write out that prenup and all that kind of stuff. I say, Hazel, what's going on? Hazel's so funny looking. Hazel's so funny built, so funny made. Um, Hazel's going to be a read this entire time And she gives us all the ammo I tell you that Hazel Very interesting looking woman Very interesting um, Then we have The one and only Phaedra Parts child Why would What does hip hop have anything to do with Phaedra Parks? I don't quite get that I don't know why Phaedra decided to be on the show but she did an interview and she said that she decided to be on the show, I guess, to be closer to Medina. Medina is an actor. He was on the Have and Have Nots and a couple of other things. Um, he played... Who did he play? He played Candace Baby Daddy. Y'all know who they killed? Who was out of jail? I think it's Candace Baby Daddy. I think that's who he played. Uh, Tika something Baby Daddy on the show. But yeah, he was crazy on them. And his name, his real name in real life is um, Medina. Medina. Get y'all like that. Child. It's a mess, this show. I'm just going to talk about this episode. The past two episodes, it was a mess. You know, Hazel E. Uh, she don't get along with nobody. Hazel E. have this very um, arrogant kind of attitude. But the attitude don't fix the look. So it, it just, my goodness, bless her heart. Y'all know Hazel E and Shonda have pre-beef because y'all remember when Hazel E, she left that post on her Facebook page talking about black women, darker skinned black women, calling them monkeys and, and all this other kind of stuff. And she included Shonda in the post. Everybody who she had an issue with. And, you know, she went on Ayala Van Zandt. And all that kind of stuff. And you know they schooled her on colorism. And um. You know she did that tired rap. And all that other kind of stuff. And you know. They don't change. I don't even know why these people go on Ayala. And all this 
child. I think maybe the people in real life change, but these celebrities don't change. Because this is their world, and, and, and at the, these reality stars, excuse me. Because this is their world, and at the end of the day, they're they going to need to go back to this reality checks, child. And I think they done damn, it seemed like they done cut love and hip hop. So, I mean, they got to settle, go all the way to the Wee TV, child. Wee TV about to be the home of reality television. I tell you. I just be looking, I just be like, I don't even know why it's called Marriage Boot Camp because all of them aren't married. I mean, hell, on these shows, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Married to Madison, they have single people on there, so I guess. Um, whatever. So y'all know the mentors or whatever, the doctors are Dr. Ish and um, Judge Lynn Toller. Toller. Yes, indeed. Um, Hazel E. Man, Devon, he got a little temper. Or a lot of temper. I can definitely tell that. Tony's just really just scraping corrupt off the ground every night. You know, he's just drunk as a cooter brown and mean. Uh, Medina just want to want to taste a uh, Phaedra. Phaedra won't give him none, child. And then Willie and Shonda, they just really they done been together so long, got all these kids together. They just they just trying to say they married, child. He done cheated, she done cheated, she done cheated, he done cheated, we done cheated, they done cheated. Everybody cheat, 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 cheat. And so they just trying to save what's left of their marriage. Let me see. So on this episode, Corrupt ended up going to the doctor. He drank this um, like cleansing juice, and um, it made him very sick. Apparently, he hasn't ate anything in a few days, but he does like to drink. He likes to drink more than he eat. I was like, Lord, a mess. So um. Their challenge for this episode. Whew. Every episode they have a challenge or whatever. So this episode, their challenge was um dancing, and so you know they all learned this, these dances as a couple. There was a female and a male um, choreographer there, and the male would be doing what the men would be doing, and the w- woman woman would be doing what the women would be doing. And so Dr. Ish, he switched it up though. So he switched the partners. So he put, um, he had Tahiri with Devon, which is Hazel's man. Had Hazel with Willie, which is Shonda's man. Had Shonda with Medina, which is Phaedra's man. And had Phaedra with. Vado, which is Tahiri's man. And, you know, Tahiri and Shonda, like I said, had words, you know, didn't like each other for a while because of the awful post Hazel left, um, you know, disrespecting gay people or LGBTQIA people. And um, her and her little man, who she's not even read anymore, Burgundy, whatever his name was, a little clown. And she done picked up another child that she's helping and to finance and get mad when he asked her for money. I mean, you knew he had no money when you got with him. But anyway, um, and, you know, because of the colorless thing she said and the, um, gay thing she said. So, Hazel is, is a mess. And in her mind, she says that they're the villains of the house because they're the most pop and they're the most, um, popular there. And everybody's jealous of them. Hazel's built like a refrigerator. Like a mini fridge. I I don't know. That lady just irritates me. She really, really does. But anyway, um, so they taught him to dance, child. Hazel twerking and doing all this stuff all on Willie. Just as funny shaped up and looking. And Shonda's sitting over there getting irritated by it because Hazel was doing a lot because that's Hazel. Let that lady get her life. She done had to work hard to get a man. So, you know, let her have her fun, child. So, then, um, 
we ended up, uh, you know, they did the dance and stuff. So, let me see. Finally, they all, you know, went to go sit to go have a bite to eat. And um, Willie and Shonda, they're talking to, you know, Phaedra to Harry. Shonda brought up Hazel's name. Talk about Hazel was doing too much during the dance, which I agree. So, Devon, he was in the kitchen overhearing. And he told Shonda, she's not doing too much. She's just her. That's my woman. Leave her alone. Then Willie jumped in and talked about, don't you talk to my wife. You talk to me. You don't talk to her. Shonda was popping off at the mouth, being extra, because she knew she had Willie right there. And so, you know, Willie was just like, well, just don't address um, her. Address me. You don't, man to man, you don't address my woman. Yada to the yada. Hazel came in. She, Hazel legit did not know what was going on. Hazel came from upstairs or whatever. And she was trying to see what was going on. So then Devon, he reached out his hand and did this to Shonda. So then that's when Willie sprung into action and got all up in Devon's face. So Willie ended up turning his head while Willie was in his face. And it was acting like he was getting ready to walk off. Then he ended up pushing Willie down in the floor. And Shonda was on his back fighting him. And then Hazel trying to get Shonda off of it. To hear he had to jump in. It was a mess. Phaedra and Medina just sitting up looking at him. Phaedra was just like, child, I just don't know what I'm doing here. When I signed up for this, I don't do this, child. And she don't. And it's just, I guess it's just a way for Phaedra to get some fans back and to just get reintroduced back to her. But we all know who Phaedra is. So I, 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 it's weird to me that Phaedra would sign up for this show in particular. But whatever. Um. So. Any check is a good is a check I guess. Hell. So you know. They ended up fighting. You know. Devon he's the youngest person in the house. He ended up showing out. Acting a fool. They end up having to take him up the steps. You know, Willie's a little older. He's a little bit more seasoned. And, you know, they was able to calm Willie down a little bit. You know, they got back collected. Shonda's still running her mouth. And, you know, it was just crazy. It was just really crazy. And it was also unnecessary. They were both in the wrong. See, Shonda is one of those people. She's one of those ladies that... um will on purpose act a fool and like be aggressive or mean to a guy and then when he pops off she know that Willie gonna have his back gonna have her back so you know this is this why she's so extra and so not saying that she wouldn't do that anyway but I'm just saying she's a lot more upfront with it because she know that Willie gonna have her back you gonna get Willie hurt out here in these streets and you gonna be sitting there hollering because your mouth and you couldn't be quiet. Um, and of course, Hazel um, just used that to her advantage, saying everybody uh, is intimidated by her and blah blah blah. Girl, who told you that? Good night. You sound ridiculous. You look ridiculous. <sighs> just a mess. But it was definitely childish on all parts. Um, Yeah, it was. So, um, Dr. Ish, he ended up talking to all of them and schooling them. It was just like, yo, we cannot have this ever again in life. Um, y'all need to grow up, especially you, Devon. You can't be going around hitting people, acting the fool to my, but it's about my respect. And people kill me. You gonna respect me. People don't have to respect you, people don't have to like you. People can walk past you and piss on you. And what? You know, so. Bless his heart. That's all I can say. Doctor, um, not doctor, Judge Toller. She ended up um, talking to them and schooling them. It was just like, child, y'all giving these uh, white folks a reason to put y'all up. This is what they want. This is they enjoy putting us in jail. They enjoy all this. Y'all just give it to them every time, child. He bring it to you every season. 
every single time y'all y'all give this it's just like y'all just do better y'all really it was a mess I think it did finally seep into their thing and that whole thing oh you don't talk to my woman you ain't gonna uh, disrespect my woman all that's just about the man that's not about the woman it's about the man's ego that's all that that boils down to oh you ain't gonna talk to some talk about something that's mine child it's all about you at the end of the day. But, um, they ended up semi squashing it. It almost it was getting ready to get riled up again because Hazel kept throwing around the fact that Shonda was jealous and all that kind of stuff. Maybe Shonda was a little jealous that any woman was dancing on her man like that. Not just because it was you, Hazel, but it, it could have been Phaedra. Um,. Throwing that donkey booty all around, and she would have felt some kind of way about it. But she probably wouldn't have because they like Phaedra and they like Medina. They're very unproblematic. Um, but Hazel, you are very problematic. You have a very problematic past. And so the reason you're kind of targeted in the house is because of your past and because of who you are and what you've done and the things you've said, sis. So, I mean. How can you be that shocked that you're the quote unquote villain of the house? And the reason I feel that her man was so aggressive or, you know, was getting so angry towards Shonda like he was going to do something is because he does that to Hazel behind the scenes. I wouldn't be shocked if he allegedly choking Hazel out. I wouldn't be shocked at all. But, you know, I don't know where she found this little boy at. But take him back, Hazel. Take him back. We still ain't gonna like you much because you done, you just, it's for your own stuff that you done did. But, um, yeah. Drop him back off and pick up somebody your age, ma'am. Child, this shit's, oh, God. Anyway, with that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at this King's World on Instagram and Twitter. At this King's World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'll see you guys later.